15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. So this is Christ saying, I am not sent on earth, go ahead. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, he sent for everybody. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Jesus said he wasn't sent to no other nation but these people right here. Oh. Who is the new Israel? Because the Israel never... Jeremiah chapter 31. I think it's 33. It might be 31. 31 or 33? Yeah. Watch this. Because the Israelites never, as long as they always keep producing people, keep having babies, they always going to be on the earth. They never do. Romans chapter 11. Verse 2. Yeah, read that. Yeah, read that. This is in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 31 and verse 33. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. It's 33 and 
Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 35. Thus saith the Lord. Who said this? Thus saith the Lord. The Lord spoke right here. Which giveth the sun for a light by day. So we see the sun by day, right? Okay. And the ordinances of the moon and of the stars for a light by night. So the moon and the stars still come out, right? Which divided the sea when the waves thereof roar. Uh -huh. The Lord of hosts is his name. Uh -huh. If those ordinances depart from before me. Not right there. He said, the sun, the moon, and everything, you don't see it no more. Go ahead. Saith the Lord, uh -huh. then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. You hear what the Bible says? As long as you see the stars, the sun, and the moon, the Israelites are still his people and they still want to be on the earth. No matter what Christianity brings, no matter what nobody says, as long as you can wake up and you can see that sun, God's people still on this earth today. Why these not the Israelites? Go read Deuteronomy chapter 28. I'm going to show you. Because the people, give me Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. The people in here, you got to do your homework, brother. Quit watching the uh, history channel. Because what they're going to teach you, they're going to teach you lies in the Bible. Why, why would a bunch of... Right. I'm going to show it to you. Give me Genesis chapter 49. And you say Dominicans are not Israelites. The Dominicans go on slavery by shit now. How did, how did they get in that country? Did they, they, they just wake up one day, we in the land of Dominican. No, 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 the way Dominican public means it's a mixture of races. We have the colonized Asians, we have the native Americans, we have the black Asians. The black slaves that went over there in that land are the Israelites. And I'm going to show it to you. Yeah, but not the, the ones that was mixed with the Spanish, those are not the Israelites. The ones that got African descent in them, that mixed with the people, those are the real Israelites. No, not everybody is Israelite. Only the people that Negro descent, Indian and Negro descent. If you're not Indian or Negro descent, you're not Israelite. Read it, read it, watch it. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Uh -huh. And thou, even thou self, even God's people, go ahead, shall discontinue from their heritage. What happened to them? For discontinue from their heritage. What happened to the Dominican? Shall discontinue from their heritage. They don't even know they is for life. Because they discontinue from their heritage. They, they discontinue from their Israelite. Read it from the time. The book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 1. This is Jeremiah's speaking. The sin of Judah. The sin of who? The sin of so Judah. So this context is Judah. Draw the verse. The American blacks didn't exist in Judah. Where's the Middle East at? This is the Middle East, right? What's separating Africa from it? You have a Bible. What's separating Africa from Jerusalem? What's separating? You know what this, what that water mass is? That's the Suez Canal that was made by a man. They cut that out. Jerusalem is part of Africa. Mm, teach, I always was a teach, part of Africa. I'll bring it out. You got to do your research, man. You've been watching the History Channel too much. I'm about to show it. You go to Deuteronomy 28. We're going to go to do Deuteronomy 28. Listen up good. I'm about to give you a history lesson. I'm going to show it to you. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Who is speaking right here? Deuteronomy. This That's is the book of Deuteronomy, about. chapter 1 and verse 1. That's who's talking right here. These be the words which Moses who's spake. Who's talking right here? These be the words which Moses spake. Moses is talking to the Israelites in the, in the wilderness at this point. Right, go ahead. He's, going, he's coming down with the tablets, the commandments, and he's going to tell them something. Go ahead. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So he's telling the Jews. It's going to come to pass, right? Go ahead. In the future, 
If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Y'all don't listen to God. Keep all his commandments. Go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All the what? All these curses. All these curses. Go ahead. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So what's the curse? Something bad, right? Mm -hmm. So he's telling them, if y'all don't keep God's commandments, we're going to put curses on you. Now let's read some of these curses. Go to verse 32. Verse 32. And I'm going to show you on this why we got all these signs out here. Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters. He said, the Israelite sons and daughters. Go ahead. Shall be given unto another people. Did that happen? Did they get sold on auction blocks to other people? Yeah, but I'm talking to the slides. Who that happened to? Yeah, but you got to feel all these curses. Not just one curse and say, oh, this just happened to one. You got to start from 15 all the way to 68. And whoever fit every, every curse from 15 all the way to 68 are the Israelites. This might just happen to a couple groups. But we're going to read some. Go ahead. We're going to read it. You tell me who they are. Go ahead. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day they long. They looking for their kids in slavery all day long. Go ahead. And there shall be no might in thine hands. They have no power in their hands to get their kids back. Go ahead. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Right. The nation came and took this land. Right. Go ahead. Drop the and verse 48. Verse 48. We're just going to read a couple of these verses. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. What the Israelites going to do? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. They shall serve thy enemy. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. In what? In hunger. In what? In hunger. When they need food, they have to go get it from the enemy. The Israelites don't own none of these. They don't own BJ, Costco, Public. Walmart, anytime you got to get food, you got to go to your enemies to get it. Even if you want to grow crops in your backyard, you have to go get the seeds to plant the crop. You have to go to your HOA place and get permission to grow that in your yard. You just can't start growing fruit trees everywhere. Before the enemy came, it's all this is all fruit trees where people can just walk down the street. When I was a boy, we used to walk down the street and just drive an apple or orange and eat it. They took that away. You can't even put a, a water bucket out in front of your house and, and start getting water from the rain. You know why? Because you would get fired from that. Because the enemy told you you can't do that. Go ahead. And in thirst. And in the water. Go ahead. And in nakedness. And when you need clothes, you have to go to your enemy to get clothes. Because you don't own none of the things. Go ahead. And in want of all things. What? Want of all things. The Israelites have to go to their enemy for the want of all things. A car loan, a bank loan, an education, a death certificate, a, 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 a passport to leave the country. You have to get all these things from your enemy. Go ahead. And he and shall he put shall a yoke what? of iron. He's going to do what? Shall put a yoke of he iron do what? upon thy neck. What's around his neck? Yoke of iron. Yoke of iron. Who had the yoke of iron around their neck? Bible said the Israelites gonna have yokes of iron around their neck. Who this happened to? I'm asking you. Hold on. We're gonna see. Go ahead. Until he have destroyed. Now me. you destroy. You destroy because you're not mentally thinking right. They destroyed your mind telling you you're a Dominican. They're not telling you you're the real Jew. I'm approved it. Just wait a minute. Go to verse 68 and give me X of this. You know what I want. Exodus 28. Go to verse 68. Verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop right there. The Lord going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. What was the Israelites doing in Egypt? They were slaves in Egypt. So he said they're going to bring you into Egypt again. Did they ever go back to Egypt again? The Israelites. They never went back again. So why the Lord say he's going to take them back there again? Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Why he bringing them back into Egypt again? Let's see what Egypt means in the Bible. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Uh -huh. I am the Lord thou God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. I have brought you out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead. Out of the house of bondage. Out of what? Out of the house of bondage. Like you said, slavery. So Egypt, it means slavery. 
going to read it again from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt or again. bondage or slavery. Again a second time. But how? With ships. With what? With ships. With what? With, With ships. How did the Israelites get over here? With, With ships. ships. They went into all these lands. How? With, With ships. ships. No, the Jewish man no, went into then, I just, then you just asked me what Egypt was synonymous for. This is the Slavery. Egypt is very How can you go to Egypt and ship right here? Egypt is only right here from okay. Jerusalem. Okay. This wasn't even there. This was a two-ass canal with just in Benny. This ain't even, this ain't even uh, 50 years old. This canal, back in ancient times, this wasn't there. So why would they need a ship to go from here to here? I don't know. Read it again, man. You gotta think, brother. Good. Right Give me Hebrew. Let's say the Bible. Give me Hebrew chapter 10, verse 20. He not thinking. He not using logic. Well, Hebrew like chapter No, no, no. He just, he just, he just been, um, he been brain. He been indoctrinated, brother. Right. That's, that's the word. Read it. Read it. It's indoctrination. He doesn't understand the essence of everything. Read it. Read it. Read it. Listen, yeah. Listen up, brother. Listen. 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 The book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 12. But this Jose, man. Jose, Jose, Jose. You know what I want. So in other you words, remember, we're in the modern day Babylon. That's where we are right now. When it's time to bring you in. I mean, damn, it's obvious. <laughs> I just read you what you know? It's obvious. It's obvious. Right. Brother, I believe me, I know. I studied this for years and years upon years and hours upon hours. Okay, but like the, the Christian church has studied that also. And they never but but hold on, hold on. Give me Amos chapter 3 and verse 2. No, no, no. I need the story. I need similitudes and allegories. Uh, Hebrews, it might be 10 and 12 or 12 and 10. Let's get to this. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3 and verse 2. Then go to Psalm chapter 111 and verse 2. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you. And drop the verse 5. Verse 5. Can a bird fall in a snare upon the earth where no gin is for him? Shall one take up a snare from the earth? and have taken nothing at all? Shall a trumpet be blown in a city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord hath not done it? Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his he secret. Revealeth his secret. The Lord revealed his secret to who? Unto his servants, the prophets. The who? The prophets. The servants, the prophets. The Read verse 1. Who is the prophet? Read verse 1. That he's going to get the context. Verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord hath spoken against you, O children of Israel. Who are the prophets? O children, children of Israel. Who are the prophets? O oh, children, children of Israel. God ain't giving this secret to no Christian man on the corner. That's with right. With no Bible and a doggone cross around his neck. He's not giving that. Give me Psalm chapter 111. Read Hosea chapter 12 and verse 10. Read. I have also spoken by the prophets. He spoken to us, the prophets, by how? And have and have had multiple visions. Uh-huh. And use similitudes. Use what? And use similitudes. What 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 do the wrong And use 28? similitudes. And what? By the mystery of the prophets. Right. That word in there is a similitude, brother. You can read in the book of Revelation where he said. My people will go to Sodom and Egypt. If any of these people going to Sodom and Gomorrah and Egypt, no. It's a spiritual Sodom and Egypt. You can tell you that the Bible says it's a spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. Read. The fear of the Lord. This is how you get understanding of this Bible. Anybody can't just understand the Bible by reading. This is how God says he's going to give you understanding. Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you fear the Lord, that's the beginning of your spiritual way. Go ahead. A good understanding. And your understanding of the Bible is what? Have all they that do his commandments. That do what? That do, do his, his commandments. commandments. If you ain't doing God's commandments, you don't have no understanding of his Bible. The right. Christian church 
don't have no understanding of the Bible because they don't keep not one of God's commandments. They go to church on Sunday, they say tax collection plate, and they up in dog a, 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 a barbecue place eating pork chop sandwich. That's going against God's commandments. Teach up. That is true. What, what, what do you say that? Go to Matthew chapter 5. Let, let's see, did Jesus ever say you don't have to do that no more? Let's see what Jesus said. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Let's see what Jesus said. Think not. Jesus said, don't even get it in your mind. Go ahead. That I am come to destroy the law. Mm. Oh, I thought Jesus said he got done away with that. Mm. Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law. Go ahead. Or the prophets. Give me Acts chapter 3, verse 18. Give me Luke chapter 3. Well, you got to run. Go ahead. Let's see what he fulfilled. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now, let's see what Jesus Go to Luke chapter 22, verse 44 to watch it. You gotta learn, bro. Acts, give me Acts 3 18. The book of Acts chapter 3 and verse 18. Let's see what Jesus said. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, uh, that Christ should suffer. That Christ should do what? Should suffer. He should suffer and what? He have so fulfilled. He fulfilled the suffering on the cross. Did Christ ever fulfill coming back in second return? Did you feel it? Yeah, you fulfilled that? Alright then. He came to fulfill certain things. Give me Luke chapter 22, verse 44. The book Christ, of Luke. Luke. The book of Luke chapter 22 and verse 4. Listen up, bro. Something you you Everything we say, we gonna prove. Open your heart. Now, Open your mind. Right. Your heart. Right. I'm, I'm they they want to say. Yep. Yep. Right. Like, so you have to do. They brought their religion to the state. They make them believe. That's a way of control. Control. We're all descendants of Africans. You know what I mean? But, but more. Oh, yeah, my mom's white, my dad is black and colorful. Okay, yeah, well, of course I'm white. I'm going to show you the reason why you speak Spanish. I'm going to show you that too. Go ahead. Go ahead. The book of Luke chapter 22 and verse 4. 44. Now, I'm going to prove that these are the chosen. You're here, you guys are, you identify as Hebrew Israelite, correct? Hebrew Israelite, correct? Okay. So I'm 22, right? My dad is black and Hebrew The book of Luke chapter 22 and verse 44. And being in an allegory, he prayed more honestly. That's the one you want. 22 and 44. 22 and 44. You got that. Go ahead, read that. Let's see the Christ he said he's done with the law. Go ahead. Yeah, go back to that, man. But he said fulfilled. Okay. This is the book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 17. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Now let's keep reading, because the prison is going to stop right there. Christ fulfilled it. We ain't got to do that no more. Let's keep For verily I say unto you. Christ said, verily I say unto you what? Till heaven and earth pass. Till heaven and earth is past. You still on the earth today? Go ahead. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law. He said, as long as you're on this earth, nothing shall pass from the law. Go ahead. Right. Till all be fulfilled. Everything be fulfilled. Everything that is fulfilled in the Bible. Go ahead. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments. Whosoever break the law, go ahead. 
and shall teach men so. And you teach men that you can go around eating pork, drink, go ahead. He shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. Read on. But whosoever shall do uh -huh. and teach them. And teach men the law. The same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So Christ never done away with the law. The law is still in full effect. Now let's get back to Deuteronomy. Find that uh, scripture in Revelation where it says spiritual Egypt inside. Find that for me, uh, animal, real quick. It's in the book of Revelation, spiritual Sodom and Egypt. So we said the Bible is a symmetry. Now let's go back to the Bible. Says about his work right now. This is what the Let's go ahead. Let's see. It says, what, whatsoever is told, yeah, whatsoever is told in the devil, that he asking no questions for conscience. Call that scripture. But the earth, this is perfect. Okay. But the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. If any of them that believe, not big and take either, and you be disposed to go. Whatsoever is set before you, asking no questions for conscience. Do you know what that? Do you know what that's talking about? Yeah, it's talking that, about eating. No, um, no, no, no. That's okay, talking about eating, and eating foods that was sacrificed to idols. You gotta do your research, man. Read the context of the whole thing. That's talking about yeah, eating foods sacrificed. They were eating food like if they were butchering food after they put uh, something on the altar and killed. They were selling it in the market. They would have a bad conscience yeah, of buying the food that was sacrificed to Isaac. God never did. Let's see what we that Isaac Not at first Why do you? This have... is the book of Isaiah. Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Let me see. On top of Jesus' head. This is not Jesus. Do your homework, sir. I've never seen that before. Right. Jesus, don't do Jesus this. Don't, don't, don't do that. Jesus don't look like. Well, don't come over here sitting in my business. Go ahead, read that. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Three. For behold. The Lord will come with fire. Did the Lord come yet? No, come so this, future, this is a future right? prophecy, right? Read it from the top, bro. The Lord will come with fire, bro. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. The Lord never came yet with fire. Go ahead. And with his chariots like a whirlwind. Uh-huh. To render his anger with fury. Uh-huh. And his rebuke with flames of fire. The Lord never came back to the earth with Jesus, with Jesus the flame of fire. Go ahead. For by fire and by his sword uh -huh. will the Lord plead with all flesh. I going to plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Did that happen yet? Did the Lord come back and slay a bunch of people yet? That didn't happen. It's future prophecy. Go ahead. Now, let's see one of the reasons why. They that sanctify themselves. They that sanctify themselves. Okay, that's what the church do. They sanctify themselves. They say, oh, it's okay. We can do this. Go ahead. And purify themselves. They purify their own self. Go ahead. In the gardens, uh -huh. behind one tree in the midst, uh -huh. eating swine's flesh. What are you killing people for? Eating swine's, swine's flesh. What are people getting destroyed for? Eating swine's flesh. Go ahead. And the abomination. That's the abomination eating pork. Go ahead. And the mouse uh -huh. shall be consumed together. Do you know what that word consumed together means? They're gonna be all killed together. They don't have no. So you say you can eat pork, so you putting yourself in risk of being slain by the Lord. That's the old testament. Bro, this is how it happened. Christ said, I come in the volume of the whole book. Mm, teach, Matthew, huh? Matthew 4, okay, verse 4. I have a question. Matthew 4, 4. Uh, I have a question. Hold on, before you say something, let me say with you something real quick. Because you said that's the Old Testament. Let's see what the Lord said. Go ahead. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 4, and verse 4. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone, but what? But by every word. But what? But by every, every word. word. No, no, don't read the Old Testament. But, but, but by, by every, every word. word. Uh -huh. That proceedeth out of the mouth of God. You got to read That's the whole right. Bible. Not That's right. New That's Bible. right. The Lord said that himself. You just can't read the Old the, the New Testament. But everything in the Old Testament hasn't been fulfilled. You got to read every you. word. None of these, none of these. He didn't even let me finish. But that just doesn't make sense. Let's go back to Deuteronomy. going to say they're going to go back to Deuteronomy 28. Let's go back to 28. Let's see who this prophecy in Deuteronomy fit. You'll fit the Caucasian man or do a no, it fit doesn't the so-called black man. It fits the truth. No, it don't. Go to Revelation 2 and 9. I know you already know. Go ahead. 
The book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. Who's talking right here? This, what, red what, letter. Red who's letter. Talking? Red letter. Christ. Who's talking right there? Christ. Red letter. What, what red letter is who talking? Let's see what he says. The book, of, the, book, he the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and verse 9. I know thou works uh -huh. in tribulation and poverty. And poverty. But thou art rich. They are rich because Romans chapter 9. Go ahead. And I know the blasphemy. You know what blasphemy right? I mean lies. Go ahead. Of them which say they are Jews. There's people in there and they the Jews from 1948. Go ahead. And are not. What did Christ say? And are, are not. not. They not, but what are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. Christ said they the synagogue of Satan. Verse, they not the Jews. That's Revelation chapter 2 and verse 9. People going around Teach, there, huh? the Jews, they're not. Do you know what the word Jewish means? What that means it's something like the real thing, but not the real thing. That's just like if I tell this brother right here, I'll be at I'll be over your house about two-ish. Does that mean I'm gonna be there at two o'clock or I'm gonna be there around that time? Around that time. When they say they Jewish, that means they not the original. They kind of similar to the original, but not. They're not the original Jews. But keep, let's go to Deuteronomy. These people don't even exist. We're going to show you that they exist. The Haitians exist. We're going to show you. Go ahead. Where you going to start at? Go back to 28, where we was at. Well, I know. What verse is 28? 68. 68. We're going back to 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. 64 first. We ain't going to 68. 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee. He's gonna do what? And the Lord shall scatter He's gonna scatter the Jews, go ahead. Among all people. Amongst all these nations, go ahead. From the one end of the earth. From this side of the earth, go ahead. Even unto the other. They're gonna be on this side of the earth, go ahead. And there. This is this is this is on the, this side. And this is the, keep reading. And there. And there. Thou shalt serve other gods. This is like him. He's serving other gods. Go ahead. Which neither thou nor thy fathers have known. But now you learn a religion your forefathers never knew. Go ahead. Even wood and stone. I go to verse 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Gonna bring them into slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake hold unto on, thee. Hold on, keep listening. Thou shalt see it no more again. Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You should not go back to your homeland there again. Go ahead. And there ye shall be sold. And there, when you get off those ships, you should be sold for hope. Unto your enemies. For bond men and bond women. Who got sold? The Jews, not these guys. When did the Jews get sold? The Jews got sold into Babylon a whole bunch of times they got sold. This is talking about a future prophet. Go to 15 again. And the Jews were slaves. Go to 15 no, again. Hold on, hold on. You said the Jews, you said they were going to be slaves. Any scholar or any Bible prophet would tell you this happened in 78. Hold on. You got to do your homework, man. You said, you said that the Jews were scattered all over the earth, right? The Africans were scattered all over the earth. Why they were? They were scattered to North America and South. That's, that's all over the earth, bro. <laughs> Some of them was okay, kept on that one, side of the earth. Go to Isaiah. Go to Isaiah chapter 11. I got a verse 11. 11 and 11. 11, 11. 11. Yes, they are. Yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are black. It's black Chinese people, not the fruit. Watch this. The book, of, the book of Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. Read. And it shall come to pass it's in gonna, that day. Uh-uh. In the past, in that day. Go ahead. That the Lord shall set his hand again the second time uh -huh. to recover the remnant of his people. What would they be? Which shall be left of Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Sheher. Sh and from Hamel, and from the Isles of the Sea. And from all the islands of the sea. That's where all this is scattered from. You can't show me nowhere where some Jewish people living in this hot region land. <laughs> no, they're not. They were they from the park of this mountain, and I'm cool. They're not from the park. Go ahead. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations and shall assemble the outcast of Israel uh -huh. and gather to get this together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. Right. 
you're going to disperse these people. The four corners of the earth, not America, Africa, South America. They all around the whole world. They're not in Asia. Jews are, yes, they are. We got brothers over in Turkey teaching this right now. We got brothers over yeah, in Africa. We got brothers all around the world. You need to do your homework. We got people in Canada. We got people in Europe. We got people in France. Just Japan. like we standing on the corner, they doing the same thing all around the whole world. Even in the Dominican Republic, even in Haiti, all around the world. Teaching the same thing. But the black people, like that ideology, wasn't created. You have to prove, you have to prove it to me that the so-called white man is the Jew. Because the Bible said that the Jews would lose their heritage. They wouldn't even know. Go to Isaiah chapter uh, 1 and verse 3 or 3 and 1. The Jews would lose their heritage. They would lose their ideas. Go, go to Hosea chapter 1 verse 10. Then go to Deuteronomy chapter 2. Read that about that. Read that about Babylon. Because he said they were in Babylon. Let's see what's going on. This is the uh, book from Babylon to Timbuktu. You listening, brother? Yes. During the period... From Pompeii to Julius, mm -hmm. it has been estimated that over one million Jews fled into Africa, uh -huh. fleeing Roman persecution uh -huh. and slavery. Yeah, the really slave markets were full of black Jewish slaves. Who? Uh -huh. Black Jewish Who slaves. Who over one that? million, man. Who said that? It's a scholar. A scholar. You ain't brought no historical fact. You ain't bought not one biblical proof. That, that guy's not nothing. Nothing. No one believes that. Nothing. Except his ignorance. That's right. all you brought. That's all you just, you just rambling. You ain't brought no proof. When you get some proof, come back. Go do all your research, all your study. You're going to keep rambling back and say, you know what? The real Jews were black. The real Jews were black. Why, why did Moses get his mistake for an Egyptian? How did Moses get mistaken for an Egyptian? He wasn't mistaken. Yes, he was. When he was out there uh, uh, helping the two daughters out there uh, watering the plants, and they, and they asked him, how do you get your work done so fast? He said, oh, an Egyptian man came to help them. How did Joseph, when he went to Egypt uh -huh. and he met his brothers back, why they didn't know that they didn't even know to under know their own brother? He wasn't born in Egypt. Joseph was born in Joseph. Joseph was not born in Egypt. He went over there to be Pharaoh's secondhand man. When he came back to his homeland to meet his brothers, why they didn't even recognize their own brother? I'm talking about why? Why? He spent years in Egypt at second in command in Egypt, then he went back home to see his family and his own brothers didn't even know who he was. No, his brothers came to Egypt. I don't know, maybe because he had a beard. Yeah, but why, why, why they, they didn't know who he was? Because it's been a long time, brother had a beard, probably. No, no, probably no. Egyptians no. didn't grow a beard. No, no, no. What are you talking no. about? No, no. Why did Paul, why did Paul get mistaken for an Egyptian? <laughs> go, go to the scripture where Paul got mistaken for a gift. Go ahead, my After this, I'm done. And, and as Paul was to be led into the castle, he said unto the chief captain, May I speak unto thee? Who said, Canest thou speak Greek? Art thou, art not thou an Egyptian? which before the days madness and uproar and led us out into the wilderness and thousands of men were murdered. Right, Paul was mistaken for an Egyptian. Why, why would they call him Paul the Egyptian? <laughs> I ain't got to believe what I want. I know the truth. Go to, go to Isaiah real quick. Yeah, I, I got the Isaiah. Isaiah. Yeah, yeah, one, that, one, yeah, one, one and three. three. This is for you. One more scripture for you. This, this, this is talking about you all the way. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. Bible says an ox. An ox is a dumb animal, right? An ox know who owns him, right? And, and the ass is master's crib. A donkey, he know how to get back home. I can take a donkey, bring him over here. He still know how to get back home. Go ahead. Hold on, hold on. But Israel, but who? But Israel, but Israelites, go ahead. Do not know. They don't even know who they are. My people do not consider. Y'all don't even consider y'all the Jews. You have to give your inheritance to a strong on white man. Yeah, I, it's a right, white guys. man. It's fine, guys. That's what our people are destroying. Listen to this while you're walking away. 
This is the book of Hosea, chapter 1, and verse 10. Uh-huh. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, right. which cannot be measured nor numbered. Uh-huh. And it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Great where we said unto them, go ahead. Ye are not my people. What they say in America? Ye are not my people. They say we not the real Jews. What the Lord say though? There it shall be said unto them, uh-huh. Ye are the sons of the living God. That's right. We the sons of the living God. That's man. right. We the sons of the living God. That's right. There ain't no invitation knockoff. The people in Israel, they just knock off. That's right. That's like when you go to New York, you go to Chinatown to get that knockoff Rolex. That's what they are. We the real deal. Man. That's right. We pure gold. Right? Read that one more. Deuteronomy 32. Verse 8. On and down. Deuteronomy Yeah. I said... I would scatter them into corners. This is what I want right here. It took me this long just to get to this. What the Lord say? I would scatter them into corners. You want to scatter us into corners and do what? I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You see that? The Lord say he's going to make the remembrance of his people cease among men. We lost our identity, man. We lost our heritage. We can't remember who we were. That's why the Lord said he's going to bring us back. That's why he all, Christ always said, I got 40,000 4, 40, men preserved. He preserved us for this day. Man. That's right. To remember who we are. To wake up and come back to these commandments, right? Hey, give me Romans chapter 13, verse 11. The Lord said it's time to awake. Wake out of y'all sleep. Our people sleep, man. Time to wake up, man. These days are up. A bit niggas and streets are over with, man. Uh, we ain't found it no more, man. These right. are the chosen people of the most high God. That's uh, right. Uh, we ain't no regular people, man. Bring it out. Everybody think we just a regular guy walking the street on the corner, man. We got chosen people, man. That's right. It's time for people to start respecting us, right? You read that. Read that. The book of Romans, chapter 13, and verse 11. Uh-huh. And that. Knowing the time. Knowing the time, man. Y'all got to know the time. Right, go ahead. That now it is high time. It's high time for these so-called black and Hispanic people to do what? To awake out of sleep. It's time for them to do what? To, to awake, awake out, out of sleep. sleep. It's time for black people to do what? To, to awake, awake out, out of sleep. sleep. What is time for Hispanic people to do? To, to awake, awake out, out of sleep. sleep. Y'all need to wake up out your sleep, man. Y'all over here snoring. That's right. Sleeping hard. Time to wake up out your sleep. Go ahead. For now is our salvation near. Uh, then we, then when we believe. Right, our salvation near to what we believe. How you doing, young man? You all right? All right. Whatever y'all gonna give us, whatever literature y'all wanna deliver us. Okay. I read that. Here. The word of God, sharper than any two-edged sword Can't be double-minded, stop thinking with two heads, boy Stop swearing on the most high, stop playing with the most high One lane, ain't no both sides, just spew out if you lukewarm Except it made me born again like a new Put it all on the line, Deuteronomy DNA test kit, you can call it a sign I'm 